Hello, my name is Katie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here today to review Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. So I just finished this book this morning and ordinarily I would have like typed up notes and things like that, but I just really wanted to, to sit down and talk about it um, because there is so much to this book and I... I'm afraid it's going to end up being very gushy instead of, <laughs> instead of, you know, just a straightforward review. Um, but it is what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with a quick synopsis. Lessons in Chemistry follows Elizabeth Zott. She is a chemist at the Hastings Institute. And nothing. she's pretty much the only woman there who is not a secretary and she is not treated well at all. People hate her simply because she is a woman, but furthermore, they don't like her because she is much more intelligent than most of the men there, and they don't like that. Fortunately, she meets Calvin Evans, who really doesn't care that she's a female. He's just interested in her mind. Um, they meet when she goes into his office and steals a box of beakers because she needs equipment and he has it. <laughs> Um, which is kind of adorable. So they don't maybe get off on the best footing, um, but the chemistry quickly develops between them and they fall in love. Through a rather unfortunate series of events, Elizabeth winds up being a single mother to Madeline Zott, and that is where the story begins. We learn that Elizabeth is not doing well mental health-wise, and Madeline is quite worried for her mother. Then the book rewinds and we get to see Calvin and Elizabeth meeting and we get to, to follow them exploring and growing their relationship. Now that that's done, I'm putting this book down because I'm not going to hold it the entire time. Uh, I adored this book. I gave it five stars without even hesitating. I pretty much inhaled it. So. Elizabeth is something of an unlikable character. They compare her uh, somewhere. I can't remember if it was a blurb or where I saw it, but I saw her compared to um, Eleanor from Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I despised Eleanor and I never finished that book because I was, just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Elizabeth, however, is my kind of unlikable. She's not rude. She's just truthful, maybe a little too truthful at times. But that's who she is and I really appreciated that and I can kind of relate because I have myself been told that I am brutally honest at times and I am aware that that is something that I do. However, I don't really see it as a shortcoming. I would rather be too honest than lie. It's just who I am. Uh, so Elizabeth and I got on wonderfully. She is my kind of woman. Even though being a female in a STEM field, especially in the 1960s, was incredibly difficult, she, she, she managed. Um, she stuck it out and she worked really hard. And even though her salary was half that of the men she worked with, and she was frequently treated as more of a secretary than an actual working scientist, and she went through a whole lot of other abhorrent things. Um, she never lost her identity. She herself was a scientist and she knew she was a scientist. Even after she winds up hosting a cooking show called Supper at Six, which is also quite amusing um, how she gets to, to, to be in this position, uh, she still recognizes herself as a, science, a scientist first and she brings science to the cooking show. This is not accepted very well at first. She goes through a lot of struggle, um, but she gets her way. She hangs out on and she, she gets her way because the women of America have been waiting for a woman like Elizabeth to get up there and say all the things they've been thinking. Um, and, and teach them that they are more than just breeding machines. They are smart and they are capable and they can do anything they want. I thought it was just so beautiful, um, this, this, this act of, of empowering women. 
there really isn't anything that I disliked about this book. I'm going to be totally honest with you. While the author does tackle a lot of really heavy topics and she does pretty much just straight up say how uncomfortable things were for women and how difficult life could be, she still keeps it energetic and entertaining. It doesn't feel like the darkness is dragging you down. So there are some topics covered in here like suicide, uh, so caution for that. But again, the author manages to not focus so heavily on the darkness. She manages to shed light um, even when things are difficult and I, I really, really appreciated that. I loved Elizabeth. She might be my new favorite character ever. Yeah, I think I think I can honestly say that. She's just so truthful and she's so true to herself and nothing stops her. She just keeps plugging away and she just keeps doing more and more and better and better things. Um, so when she does get hurt in the book, uh, you really feel it. You, you also feel hurt and you, you feel angry for her. <laughs> I went through like an emotional roller coaster while reading this, but I think possibly it's at least on the list our favorite books I've read this year. We'll see because it's still only June. But yes, I have absolutely no complaints. I can definitely see myself reading this book again in the future. I, I have no more words, honestly. If you've been interested in this book, just go ahead and read it. It is very observant about humanity and it will annoy you and it will make you smile and it will make you sad but it is worth it it is so very worth it by the time you get to the end um so yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on lessons in chemistry by bonnie garmis i know this is not very long um but if i tell you all my thoughts about everything then there'd be nothing left for you to discover so let me know in the comment section if you plan to read this book or not. I strongly recommend that you do. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to chat with you soon. Bye.